Hi, I'm Nancy Morgan, co-founder of the Wound Care Education Institute, and I'm with Wally Rogowinski. I hope I said that right, Wally. And he's the president of Anna Kappa Technologies. Thanks so much for being here, Wally. Well, thanks for inviting me. I certainly appreciate it. Anna Kappa Technologies is a small veteran-owned business uh, that's been chartered uh, to develop new kinds of products. We specialize primarily in uh, anti-infective agents that we're developing for a specific purpose for skin and wound care. We have some uh, unique uh, features about our product that address uh, the uh, emerging problems in wound care today. Okay. Well, you know, speaking of emerging problems, you know, I have been hearing the buzzword biofilms. Would you mind just explaining what biofilm is to us? Biofilms are a unique an important factor in, in wounds, in the wound environment. Biofilm is a very complex organizational form of bacteria as it uh, colonizes a wound. Uh, the, the biofilm begins first by attaching to the surface of the tissue and as a matter of fact begins to form this architecture. This structure has the property of being able to resist uh, antibiotics, antimicrobials and antiseptics to a large degree. The best way I can show you is, a, is an electron scanning micrograph of biofilm. If you notice in that corner there, you notice that fuzzy material back of the bacteria? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that almost acts like Velcro in oh. attaching to the wound, holds it there tenaciously so it's very difficult for anything to get through. So what do I have to do to get rid of these biofilms? product like Anisep, which contains sodium hypochlorite and is stable and non-cytotoxic, it's a modified uh, sodium hypochlorite, will break down biofilm, kill the bacteria, kill the fungus, kill the viruses, and be able to remove that biofilm so that the wound can again resume its healing process. So this is knocking out biofilm in yes, these chronic will. wounds? Yes, it will. Oh my goodness. This has been recognized by the CDC as the primary product to eradicate biofilm. Oh. As a matter of fact, the FDA said that a product like Anisep can be used uh, outside the patient for, um, for non-critical medical devices, equipment surfaces around the patient. So it has a dual use. Are you saying that I can use this in a wound, okay, to get rid of my biofilms, but I can also use it on surfaces like in the patient environment? Yes, you that, can. So I have a tool purpose. It's like two in one. Also, we have a long-acting version of Anisep. Mm -hmm. It's essentially the same formula, but it's a slower release. And that way you can keep it in the wound longer, maintain mm -hmm. a moist environment, but also get rid of that biofilm over a longer period of time, as well as debride the wound. And quite frankly, it's unmatched for odor control in wounds. Oh yeah, well that's So it knocks it all good. down. Uh -huh. A lot of that biofilm is, produces that odor that is characteristic in, in a lot of wounds, so. So I have a cleanser, mm -hmm. and I also have a hydrogel, and this I would use uh, on at least daily basis, right? Yes. In the wound bed? Okay. Once a day, no more. So uh, this is the ammo to get rid of these biofilms. There you go. Okay. There well, this go. is great. Or, and slough and debris as and, well. And a oh, chemical debrider agent. Yeah. So where would I go, Wally, to get more information? You would go to um, our website, which is www.anacapa-tech.net. You just uh, found me a new weapon to get rid of biofilm. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I, this is awesome.